Join us on a journey from the beach to the dance floor. Chicane presents Sunsets. This, 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 this is, 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 is Sunset. 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 We, we are the Sunset Nation. You are the Sunset Nation. The Sunset Nation. The song has set and it's time to turn up the tempo. Chicane. Hello everyone, how are you? And a very warm welcome to my studio by the sea. I am Nick Chicane and it's time once more for us to get together to shut off from the rest of the world and listen to some emotive, eclectic, electronic music. Now, I know it's only February, but I've noticed the days are starting to get a little bit longer and the winter sun has been peeking its head across the UK. In fact, I was walking the dogs on the beach this a couple of days ago and I watched the sun sizzle out the sea and I went oh so, little hint of a uh, little hint of spring so I'm feeling positive and chilled and ready for a brand new episode of Sunsets people I hope you are too coming up over the next 16 minutes I'm going to play you some music from Marsh, Yotto, uh, Ludovenko, Ianordi, Way Out West and a few of my own and as usual we'll be handing over control to the show for a few minutes of, of, to the Sunsets family from around the world who will be picking out their piece of soundtrack music to play you first up though we've played it before but I absolutely love it it's beautiful our Icelandic friends, Jonsi and Alex. Alex Summers is an American who ran a recording studio in Reykjavik where he met and worked with the guys uh, from the incredible band Sia Ross and started up a relationship with lead vocalist uh, Jonsi. Um, this is from their 2009 album Rice Boy Sleeps and it's called Indian Summer and it's, it's very, very beautiful.
Okay, classic from the very back of the record library there, Way Out West and The Gift. Now, if you were old enough to remember when that came out, uh, it's a magical piece of music. Um, still sounds fresh, 27 years after. 27 years. <laughs> That's quite scary. After it first came out. Uh, before that was something uh, from the same year, actually, um, Italian pianist, composer Ludovenco Ianordi, with the title track of his album, Le Onde. Um, I should know what that means, uh, as I lived in France, but uh, it's the the Onde. There we go. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a piece of music based on um, the novel The Waves by British writer Virginia Woolf. And it was also used in a film called uh, Aprili, I think is how it's pronounced, which you might recognise if you're a connoisseur of Italian art house cinema, which I am not. So I'm going to move on now. <laughs> Talking of uh, soundtracks, though, it's time for me to put my feet up for five minutes and hand over control to one of you guys, our son sets faithful family that dotted all around the globe um this week's suggestion comes from a very popular hbo show that everyone seems to be talking about at the moment and it's chosen by adrian in county durham take it away adrian hi nick it's adrian from county durham a huge fan of the show listen every week uh, the wife and i have been listening uh, watching a program called the white lotus and the theme tune is very good so i just wanted to share it with you guys uh it's called uh, renaissance the White Lotus, and it's by Cristobal Tapia de Vere. I may have butchered that. Uh, keep up with the fantastic work. Speak soon. Thanks.
listening to sunsets and have electronic eclectic music every week or eclectic electronic music every week depends on how you want to say it hopefully uh you'll usually come away uh from the show hearing something you'll love and go off and discover some more so i just uh, just played you something new uh from the monster cat silk record label come closer by japanese producer shingo nakamura now uh before that i also uh something uh, really interesting a modern rework of a 70s um album track i you know, I took some time and I listened to this a couple of times. Uh, it's a 70s album track by Jerry Garcia called An Odd Little Place and it's been remixed by LP Giobi, uh, Giobi and DJ Tennis. I don't know DJ Tennis, <laughs> uh, but I kind of like that. It's quirky. You also heard this week's soundtrack selection, which came from Adrian in County Dunham. Uh, he chose the title theme to the HBO show The White Lotus uh, uh, by Canadian uh, film and television composer Cristobal Tapia de Vere. Crikey, there's a name. Um, and uh, there's a few decent remixes uh, are knocking around if you want to check that out on YouTube, actually. Um, and if you've got a soundtrack you think we would like to hear, make sure you get involved in Sunsets by leaving me a message on the voicemail line, which is plus four four eight hundred double seven six five double one two. Most important thing is just remember that it doesn't matter if you cock it up, mispronounce it, make a mistake or get it wrong. You can just do it again. So don't be shy. Right. Next up is another play of uh, one of my new ones. I premiered this last week and it seemed to get a really, really great response. So thank you for those people who actually bothered to type something on Twitter or Facebook or or whatever. Um, this is my reworking cover of um, The Police is Don't Stand So Close to Me. Um, we're still trying to get hold of Sting so we can clear the entire thing. This record doesn't have any samples in it, but the way it works in the music industry these, these days is that you do have to get the original composers to sign off on a piece of music, even if you cover it. Um, so it's changed a bit from the old days. So if you want to uh, <coughs> give um, at official Sting a nudge and say, here, yeah, have a listen to this, I would be very grateful. Have a listen, guys.
six years old already, people. That was one of mine from the Place You Can't Remember Your Place Can't Forget album. It is, of course, Gorecki, originally by Lamb. Uh, I still like that. It sounds good. Before that was something from uh, 2018. Me old mates just J- Jody Wistonoff and James Grant teaming up with German producer Coel on a tune called On Air. Now, in terms of dance music news this week, hmm... Most talked about thing is Beyonce winning the Grammy Award for Best Dance Electronic Album for her album, Renaissance. Mm. Now, I don't think anyone is denying the incredible talent uh, that, but that uh, Beyonce possesses, of course, but um, for such a massive global R&B pop star to win one of the uh, one of the only categories for the more underground electronic artists it certainly raised a few eyebrows, you know. Uh, I think... Predominantly, though, the album was produced by um, people like Skrillex and a few others, so it kind of went to the right person by default, if that makes any sense. Um, but, you know, and I, I, for the first time, had a quick look at the whole Grammys thing. I, I could be wrong here, but I think there was something like a 100 awards. There was an award for everything. All for the person that fell asleep on the back, back seat, you know. Um, in other news, I watched this at the weekend a new documentary aired on sky called right here right now not my version norman cook's version so um the documentary is brilliant it was telling the story of fatboy slim's legendary 2002 outdoor show in brighton beach and the film marks two decades since the event which attracted a quarter of a million people to the beachfront which was a bit of a problem as they were expecting 40,000. And uh, it features lots of really good interviews with people like uh, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, Vernon Kay, John Sims. Uh, it's got some great, fantastic archive footage of the event as well. Really worth a watch. Uh, yeah, it, that was completely nuts. And what's interesting about that, I, I watched the documentary. The original, that was the second show that Norman ever did. The first show was the year before, and he was brought on to play on after they set up some big screens. It was. Norman was the after show party for the cricket, <laughs> which we lost hideously. And then Norman did the show. It went really, really well. And they thought we'd do it again. And then it went bananas. It's really worth watching. I could talk about that for a good couple of hours. Go and have a look at that. And finally, oh dear. David Guetta has been playing a new check of his, which features vocals from an AI generated Eminem. Hmm. Okay. This is the this is this the, this is a future echo, everybody. Uh, the French superstar DJ used online AI websites to write a lyric in the style of Eminem and then create it in the rapper's voice. Although it's not set for any commercial release, it's a, it's an interesting and terrifying prospect that we might not need performers, writers, or artists much longer if the machines can do this for us. Uh, maybe. I can train um, AI to write music uh, as chicane and I could just uh, put my feet up and let the computer do it all. <clears throat> Did anybody ever watch Terminator? Hmm? Terminator 2, anybody? Did anybody watch that? Just throwing it out there because things went a bit wonky when the machines took control. Yes. Remember where you heard the warning first. Okay, back to music now and where we're going to head towards the final part of the show. And next up is something brand new from beautiful producer Tom Marshall, better known as Marsh. This is Endless and it's out this week on the Ajuna Deep label.
Okay, two tracks to finish off this week. That last one from Yotto featuring Julia Church called No Ending. And before that was Marsh with Endless. And I'm afraid Sunsets does have to end soon. No, we're nearly out of time for this week. And if you want to get a full playlist, you can grab that from my Facebook page. And you can find me on the Twitter at Nick Chicane. And if you're listening on the radio, you can always download the show for free from your favourite podcast app. Just search for Chicane Sunsets and press the subscribe button. Please feel free to share the show with your friends and post the link up. Uh, people who you think might enjoy this sort of thing. Um, thank you for listening. I'll be back in a few days. Same time, same place. Usual, usual baloney. Um, I shall leave you with a really old one of mine that you might recognise because we play a chunk of it as the intro to the show. This is In Praise of the Sun. Have a good week, people. Here we come In Praise of the Sun of the sun I wave goodbye to the rain in praise of the sun Production. This is distorted.com.